we're gonna take you through step-by-step -step how to make this Valentine's Day drop box. Alrighty guys, so what you're gonna to need to create this project is you're first gonna need a box of some kind. So I just grabbed an old Capri Sun box that I had and I'm gonna use that. I'm also going to use tape, an X-Acto knife, scissors, and I'm going to use um, this decal on the box as well. If you don't have a Cricut or Silhouette, don't worry, you can just jump online, print off the um, post office logo and you can apply it that way as well. If you wanna have a flag, you need red construction paper. And then also you're going to need um, some kind of blue wrapping of some kind to cover the box. This is blue wrapping paper that I got from Hobby Lobby. The reason I'm using blue wrapping paper is because I did try to use blue construction paper and it was a hot mess. I mean, when I say hot mess, it looked as if a blind squirrel had tried to wrap it with the construction paper and I'll insert a picture because you know what, it's, it's funny, it was a total fail. So I'll insert that, learn from my mistake, try wrapping paper of some kind. But yes, these are your supplies. Let's go ahead and get right into it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap it as if it's a regular present. Okay, so here we go. Here is what it looks like. And let me tell you, this is a million times better than the construction paper. So please learn from that mistake that I made. Use the wrapping paper, it's definitely worth it. Okay, so our next step is going to be to cut out a little square here that we can use for um, the Valentine's to be dropped in. Because I want it to look as if it's um, a pull down, as if you would a post office box, I'm only gonna cut three sides. I'm gonna leave the bottom one intact so that it's kind of hinged onto the box. Because it is was wrapped on wrapping paper, I'm going to take a little bit of tape and I'm going to tape this part down just so that it's nice and smooth. But here we go. So now that we have our box ready, we're going to go ahead and decorate it. And yeah, if you're noticing that I have now have two band-aids on my fingers, I had to take a quick break there because turns out <laughs> I cut myself somehow with the X-Acto knife. Seriously, it's a miracle I'm even allowed to use hot glue. <laughs> Now I have applied the image. I'm sorry about the glare. So now we have this here. And again, you can use colors that contrast a little bit more, but this is the colors that I had on hand. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut out the flag. Now, to make the flag, I'm just gonna take some simple construction paper. I'm gonna cut out just a red rectangle with a square attached to it. This is gonna serve as my flag. I'm going to stick it right here. But yeah, so now we have an absolutely adorable little box. Please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.